Welcome back. Well, we have John Pearlstone here and Nancy Ireland on behalf of the Village Music Club. Well, welcome both of you to the show. Very nice to meet you. And okay. as always, thanks for coming back. My pleasure. And Lisa, uh, great you know, to see you, 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 you too. And you know, you guys always have some really great stuff. And we had a really good conversation last time about you know what you guys are trying to do here in the village. And uh, so far, so good. So tell me about what happened with your last opener that you guys had. Yeah, I mean, the, the shift has been to try to create more involvement with village residents doing tribute sort of performances and. We brought the Bob Dylan band to open for Crosby, Stills, and Nash, and everything just went as well as we could have hoped. The crowd okay. seemed to really enjoy it. We brought a high level of entertainment, and mm -hmm. just, I mean, the, the info I guess I'd share is we got uh, 40 responses after the concert, literally 40 emails, texts, calls, Good. you know, out of maybe 400, 500 people that saw the opener. So okay. one in 10 took the time to write and say something. And so right. we, we feel like we're on the right track with that sort of thing. And, actively talking to other village residents about hopefully getting involved at the same level. Right, and I know that we'll talk in a little bit about something that you're trying to do for another concert that's coming up. So um, so you had the Nomad. Oh, Nomads are going to be doing their happy hour again. So now how does that how does that work? Do people just show up? Do you have to yeah. make a reservation? Yeah, it's really the best deal going in the village as far as I'm concerned because uh, Club 19 puts together a great happy hour menu and you get great. three hours of you know good quality dance, music, entertainment from the Nomads. And okay. You come for as long as you want and, you know, have great drinks and food and music Perfect. and dance. And it's been okay. going on for over a year now. So now, is that out on the patio? Yeah, the oh, patio okay. and then alongside. You know, we're performing over in the corner of the patio. But, okay. I mean, you know, they hear the music throughout. Now, you've been, you've been shaking your head the whole time. Mm -hmm. So I'm assuming you're a big part of this. <laughs> uh, well, you know, I don't help organize it. But I have attended most of the Nomad concerts and, or okay. performances at the 19. Okay. Um, I am a member of the Village Music Club and okay. go to a lot of their functions. I was at the Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young tribute. It was excellent. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. We enjoyed it. So Excellent. And excellent. I will be there at the next one. Well, perfect. Well, let's talk a little bit about the, the next one that is coming up. So we've got uh, Rod Stewart Tribute Band on March 10th. Now, let, we actually have a clip of that, so why don't we go ahead and take a look at that before we talk about it, okay? Right. All right, so, so take a look here. We got a Rod Stewart tribute coming up. May you grow to be proud, dignified and true. And then do unto others as you'd have done to you. Be courageous and in my heart to will remain forever young forever young I didn't know what day it was when you walked into the room I said hello I know Wow. wow. Okay, so he looks pretty good. Tell me about him. Well, he performs all up and down California and Arizona, and, uh, you know, Rod Stewart's just as big a legend as it gets, and yeah. I think there's going to be a lot of fun, great crowd. But one thing we did do, which is kind of cool, and I, I think it's part of what Village Music Club is about, is since it's not some giant national act in this case, he worked with us. I said, you know, is there something special you can do for our crowd? So he developed an acoustic kind of the more interesting uh, Forever Young and uh, You're In My Heart and songs oh. that you almost never hear live that he's going to yes. perform for our crowd. So Oh, I like it. Yeah, I'm excited to you know see those guys willing to work you know just special for our group. Okay, now well, there's there's a couple of different dedications uh, for this particular uh, concert. We've got the Rock for the Homeless Drive, so what does that entail? Right, we'll turn it over to Nancy more or less, but it, essentially it's just trying to you know take advantage of the large group of people that we've reached and help the homeless and, and bring some value to the, the overall community okay. while also enjoying a great concert. So. Okay. So Nancy, you are a resident mm -hmm. and obviously you participate in a lot of different events here. You're here on behalf of the Illumination Foundation. Yes. Tell me just a little bit about them. Okay. So they have been around for about 15 years. They were founded right here in Orange County mm -hmm. and they have now grown. They're in, they serve LA, Orange, San Bernardino, Riverside and San Diego counties. Mm -hmm. 
And their approach is a multifaceted approach to deal with the entire, the, the individual, the entire person. Okay. and provide the care they need and break that cycle of homelessness. Right. So, you know, when we think of homeless, we tend to think of the guys that we see out on the street, men and women, who may be mentally ill or drug addicts, addiction problems, and they do help those people too. This drive, I'd like us to try to focus on the children and families shelters. Okay. And the list in, uh, that is on the screen was provided by the Illumination Foundation. I okay. don't have an affiliation with them. Okay, um, so, so you're looking for things anywhere from ages zero to, of course, maybe 18 and over. Right. And there's a whole list of different kinds of things, primarily bedding, clothing. No clothing. Oh, no clothing at all. Yeah, there's okay. no clothing on the Shoes list. Shoes and socks. Yes. Well, that's okay. Cool. How come no Diapers. clothing? You know, that is not what they need right now. Okay. I do have a call and an email into my contact there to see if people can donate clothing to them if okay. they will accept it right now. They may okay. have an overabundance, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Um, I know for this particular drive, I don't have the capacity, because I'm doing this with some of my friends. Mm -hmm. So we will be sorting into the age groups and what we have, and then we, I, hopefully with some friends maybe, <laughs> we will be delivering them to okay. the Illumination Foundation. Oh, that's great. We will not have a big truck out front right. that can handle boxes of clothes okay. and all that. So we're gonna try to stick to the list Okay. And hopefully there's something on there for everybody, regardless, everybody that yeah. would like to participate. Sure. You know, this is not a requirement. Okay. We'd love you to come and donate. We'd love you to join the concert. If you can't, okay. we're going to have the bins out in the pack anyway. Oh, okay, good. That's so they can drop off. Where are you going to be located? We're going to be, be at the pack okay. in, the in the lobby. Okay. And, um, you know, there's things. They need diapers. They need pull-ups. Those are not sure. cheap items. They need okay. formula. But there's also, if you notice, pacifiers. On That's the an list. easy purchase. Teething. Run over to you know, Rite Aid and exactly. grab something. And, bring right. it. and we're putting the list on the Village Music Club Facebook oh, page. So okay. that's a little hard to read, and people can just yes. go look right. at that. Perfect. And it's also on the back of the flyers. So if you pick up one of the flyers for the concert, okay. it is on the back side of that. All right. Well, that's a great cause. Thank you so much for doing that. I, Thank you. I think you're going to have more things than you know what to do. With I them. hope so. <laughs> yeah, because, again, we don't think of the children that are impacted. Yeah, we yeah. don't, because the only thing they do highlight is generally the adults. So yes. that's, a, that's a great thing to do. So now, John, you have other uh, concerts that are coming up. After that, not to take away from this, but we just want to give everybody mm -hmm. a bit of a preview. Right. So, some, so Elton John is coming up on April 21st, right. uh, which is what we talked about last time, Kenny Metcalf, who is amazing, so don't miss that. Right. And then you've got a tribute coming Coming up on June 9th. Right, and that one is the headliner is the Beatles, and we're working with the pack. We don't know if they've got some technical issues that might prevent opening acts for a while. Oh, all right. We're trying to get it worked up, but whatever happens, there have been people that have approached me about doing tributes that okay. are village residents, and, and we're going to be, you know, getting with them, seeing if they feel like they, if we all feel like they can deliver the quality, and we'll make sure they get a chance to perform, you okay. know, whether it's at Clubhouse One out on the patio or in the pack as an opener, but Great. in any case, if there's anybody, I said it before, if there's anybody interested, they should definitely contact me, but we've got some Perfect. people we're working with, so I'm really excited okay. that they want to kind of take their game up a level and see what Good. they can do. Yeah. Absolutely, you know, you never know until you get up there, right? Right. <laughs> but the Beatles should hold their own pretty nicely, I suspect. Oh, yeah, of course. But <laughs> yeah, it's always good to have some, some yeah. mix of stuff, too, just to get the crowd going. That's, all, that's the vision. We'll see if it works. All right. Well, thank you both for being here. I appreciate thank it. Thank you for your time. Right. You're welcome. Appreciate it. If you want more information about what the Village Music Club is doing, you can go to their Facebook page, which is just Village Music Club, because they'll have that list there, or you can send them an email, vmclub8 at gmail.com. We'll be right back.